Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. I am your host, Derek Fage. A great show ahead for you. We're going to be talking about uh, a number of things. First of all, some home trends. When it comes to trends in, in homes and living spaces, the Greater Ottawa Home Builders Association joining us on the show. We're also going to talk seasonal affective disorder and the link between mental health and debt. But first, we're going to talk about how a musician became a full-time musician, not something you hear very often during the pandemic. I am joined by Maddie McKenna. Uh, who also goes by the name of Graven. Maddie, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and Maddie, you know, I mentioned off the top, I, I don't think there's a lot of artists, musicians out there that can say, hey, I became a full-time musician um, during the pandemic. Tell me how that came to be. Well, yeah, it's sort of funny. I just started doing um, live shows on Instagram on Friday nights and, uh, I chose that as my kind of social media of choice. And I started doing it early uh, March of 2020, right when things kicked off with COVID. And I was doing it more as a way just to stay sharp musically and to play my songs. And I wasn't really thinking about, you know, getting people to watch or anything. I, I was just doing it. And then eventually people started watching and more people started coming. And it sort of became this little community called Graventown and now it's really a thing and I've been able to do mostly that as my full-time thing. I have a one-hour show. Now it's on Thursdays, every okay. Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, it's turned into uh, a fun little thing that I do that's online and it's uh, it's become a job. Yeah, it's amazing, and I love the way you describe it because you describe it as very inclusive and, and very welcoming, that, that community that, that's, you know, sort of built around your music. T tell me about that and, and how special that must feel for you as a, as a musician. It's pretty cool, for sure. I, I've always wanted people to feel welcome and uh, to feel invited to whatever I'm doing. I think music at times has a, a, a cool culture to it where you know, only the cool kids are allowed to come, but I really wanted to, to break that down with the stuff that I was doing and, um, you know, just wanting everyone to feel welcome, no matter what walk of life they're from, no matter what you're going through, no matter what your gender is, no matter what, you're just always welcome in Graventown. And that kind of became the ethos of it. And it became really important to me and it's important to the, the people that come too. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about how it's, it's, coming and it's growing still all, all the time yeah i love it you just you gave me chills as you describe it there it's uh it sounds just like a like a beautiful moment right that you're having with all of these people and but just as importantly i think maddie is is being able to connect with people and going back to doing live music and you know not virtually but you know people there because there is a, a very special connection between yourself and an audience and you, you just returned recently from a tour of the maritimes tell me about that experience yeah, that was so fun. Oh my gosh, to go uh, to the East Coast. And I've always loved the East Coast of Canada. And uh, my best friend growing up, Brian, lives in PEI. So I got to spend some time with him and his family. And I played at Trailside, which is a great, beautiful venue out there with a couple friends. And then I played in Halifax on my way out to, to come back to Ottawa. And it was amazing, yeah, to be able to play in places to indoor spots to um where people could come and and you know be a part of live music and be a part of the whole thing it felt almost like you know knock on wood real life uh, again and uh, it was very encouraging and empowering just to see people out enjoying music enjoying themselves out of their houses not on netflix just uh, yeah. doing something so it was, it was very cool yeah, and you, you uh, put out your album Years in, in 2020, produced with uh, Jim Bryson, who, you know, probably one of the, the greatest producers in, in the country. He's done so many, worked with so many people. Tell me about the album. How, how would you describe it? Years was a lot of fun, and working with Jim wasn't anything I've done before. Um, I did one single with him before the album came out, so I did one track just together sort of try it out and then we talked and said well why don't we try and do more songs and make it into an album sorry but if you hear the water pipes uh there's probably someone who used the facility upstairs <laughs> anyway uh so with jim it was uh really fun and he's he's very good at being really truthful about the music which i appreciate so 
he can hear things really well that other people can't in what should fit in a song and what shouldn't. And it, it turned into a great record, like my favorite so far and my my best probably and well most well received and air played on radio and everything. So Years is really just a, all about my life and I think becoming a dad. Nice. So I have a five year old daughter and and sort of about um, the impossibility of time, you know, w- wanting to be in the moment, but you can't sometimes as a human we're always thinking ahead or we're thinking backwards yeah uh, i've got about 90 seconds left maddie and I, I don't want to run out of time before we we discuss you're going to be recording uh, your latest album on october 27th with some other big names for sure yeah so i leave tomorrow to fly out to halifax and i'm going to record in dartmouth nova scotia with joel plaskett and uh, charles austin both have been great friends to me over the years and uh Really, Charles helped me start kind of the whole Graven thing. I recorded my first thing with him. So I'm really looking forward to to getting out there. And it's going to be one week, very compressed. We're going to do it all and uh, do eight songs. And uh, we might run out of time. We'll see. But anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to trying to get it all done. And I think it's going to be a really uh, a great experience to go out there. I love the East Coast, as I said, so it's going to be a lot of fun, hopefully. Well, and I, I imagine Graventown will continue every every Thursday night as well? Yeah, every Excellent. Thursday I do it, and uh, I do have a Kickstarter for my album, uh, for okay. this album, so people can find it on my Instagram, and it's all all there, so any support is great. Terrific. Maddie. thanks so much for joining us, yeah. and uh, congratulations on all the success so far. Thanks so much, Derek, and you look great. You're killing it. (laughs) Thanks, buddy. All right, don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, the Greater Ottawa Builders Association joining us. We're going to talk about some of the latest trends when it comes to homes and living spaces. We'll be back with that right here on Daytime Ottawa.